Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simurky, and welcome to a speed build of some Pueblos in The Sims 4. Now, I actually had to look up what Pueblos were. I'm probably going to say that wrong a million times. It is Pueblos. Okay, Pueblos, Pueblos, Pueblos. <laughs> if I got that right. Anyways, this was a request from a viewer on one of my videos. Um, since we have the new jungle pack, I asked if there was any type of builds that anyone wanted to see, and someone requested this, so I'm not sure exactly how it fits in with the jungle pack. I think it's more more so just the um the style of the items in the jungle pack sort of have a southwestern type feel. So uh, if you don't know what a Pueblo is, it is an American, and I'm reading this from, I don't know, Wikipedia or something, <laughs> an American Indian settlement of the southwestern U.S., especially one consisting of multi-storied adobe houses built by the Pueblo people. So I thought that was a really cool request, something different, something I've never seen before uh, done on The Sims, and if anyone has done it, I'd love to see how they did it as well, so make sure to let me know in the comments if you yourself have built Pueblos, I'm still saying that wrong, Pueblos, <laughs> or if you know someone who has, because this was pretty fun to do. I thought this was going to take me a long time. Honestly, I went into this thinking, okay, this is going to be, I don't know, a f six, eight, ten hour build or something. And honestly, I knocked it out in two hours. I couldn't believe how quickly I did that. So I honestly, <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I don't know if it's just because it was a bit more simple in terms of them just being square homes and not having to worry about the roofing or what, but I, maybe I was just super inspired. Sometimes I get in a zone and I just build, build, build. Oh, and by the way, I should somewhere at some point put up pictures of places blows somewhere on uh somewhere on the the screen so you can see exactly where I drew inspiration from and anytime I do a build like this where I'm not quite sure what I'm doing I always want to make a disclaimer and say that my build is inspired it is not meant to be a replica or authentic or an exact copy of something uh it's just sort of my take on things because I, it may be wrong <laughs> it may be wrong I just want to put that out there it's just my my mm, my my spin, my spin on things, I guess. So I definitely see how the doors and archways and pottery and things like that went in with the theme. So I had a lot of fun. The picture, I don't know if it's the one I put on screen, but one of the pictures I looked at had bright blue doors. And I was like, okay, this is a perfect opportunity to use these. And beautiful open windows, sort of an indoor, outdoor type living. Um, I'm not sure about this part, but I would imagine that there would be some sort of market nearby or that people would probably sell their own wares, their own goods, stuff that they craft themselves or make themselves. So I was able to put a few of those little um, tables that we got with the new Jungle Adventure game pack where you can actually sell your crafts. I think that's how it works, at least. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, but I put those all around. And I wanted this to look like it was built sort of maybe up in the mountains. I'm not sure if that part is accurate or not, but um, I didn't go crazy with putting stone all around the foundation, but I did use a, I think, a stone pattern on the bottom eventually to make it look like it's up on a cliff somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I do sometimes. I just do. <laughs> I just do. I really hope you guys enjoy these, though. It was fun to do. It was something a bit different and um, sort of, I don't know. I'm sort of thinking of doing some sort of either live stream in a multiple series or maybe probably a live stream where I build a entire village or entire community on one 64 by 64 lot, which by this, by the way, this is also a 64 by 64 lot in case you're wondering. Um, but I'm not sure exactly what to do for that. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. My friend Dylan, Dylan Sims, I'll make sure to link his channel. He's the one who suggested that I do it and I'm just not sure what what to do for that. <laughs> uh, maybe tiny homes. I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I love, I love taking what you guys request and making it into a video or a live stream because you guys are always the most inspiring people. I get a lot of my ideas from you. I get a lot of my inspiration and motivation from you. So I love hearing from you. Don't be afraid to ask no matter what type of build it is. Even if I can't get to it, I just love hearing from you guys. So feel free to comment below and tell me, tell me what type of things you'd like to see or what type of things you're building with the jungle pack in general. I know some people are doing temples. Um, some people are doing restaurants like I did the other day with the rainforest inspired cafe or the rainforest cafe. 
why can't I word? Rainforest Cafe inspired restaurant. That's what I did. Um, I know some people are doing vacation homes and rentals like I did with the Jungle Villas. So if you have any other requests, let me know. I think, what's today, Thursday? Yeah, this is, okay, so this is going to go up today. I'm recording it right before it goes up, which is super rare because normally I pre-record weeks ahead. Um, so if you leave me a comment today, Thursday, March 1st, <laughs> and let me know what other type of jungle build you want to see. I might be able to build it tonight and put it up tomorrow as a, as a video. Uh, no promises, but I will definitely try. So, so yeah. So comment away. <laughs> comment away. Now, some of these items I'm using are from Debug. So that is a special cheat that you can use to access items that aren't normally available uh, in the build buy menu. So a lot of the little baskets and things that I'm using are from there. And then I realized that the laundry day st stuff, oh, I can't talk. There's those little crafting cables I was talking about. Um, <laughs> that went by so super fast. The laundry day stuff actually goes super nicely with this pack. I mean, they just hand in hand a lot of the um, carpets and of course the outdoor washing stuff and the um, baskets and the hanging herbs, 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 herbs. I never know which is the right word. <laughs> I can't word, by the way, if you don't know. I do not know how to word. I, I fumble everything. Um, the, the rugs, just a lot of the plants, all of it went really, really nicely together. So laundry day stuff and jungle adventure game pack make a beautiful combination, beautiful combination. I don't know if they did that on purpose. They were kind of released back to back. So maybe they took inspiration from one to the other. Um, but the art style is amazing. The colors on this pack are amazing. And oh my God, the walling, walling, walling. Sure. Why not? The walling and floor paper are to die for. <laughs> is walling a word? Sheesh. I don't know. I don't know. Don't forget. I can't word. So just ignore me sometimes. Um, <laughs> the wall coverings. There we go. And the flooring that came with this pack are so cool. Oh my gosh. So many beautiful natural textures and colors. Um, we have lots of stone and beautiful tiles and it's just an inspiration. Like just that alone, I think is worth the pack. If you're a builder, you'll definitely enjoy this. And if you are a game player, of course, you'll enjoy it as well because we have a whole new vacation world with a temple and so much stuff to discover. We have new uh, skeleton people <laughs> that remind me of both Hilder from The Sims 3, so that's a super nice little throwback there, and it's just lots of fun. It's lots of fun. I I say this in like every video <laughs> that I've done about the the uh, Jungle Adventure game pack. I didn't have high expectations for this. I wasn't super interested in this pack, and then it blew my mind. So I mean, that's what The Sims does. I I'm always blown away. The only thing that would have blown me away even more is if we had our own waterfalls and bridges that we could have built from this pack. Now, I do have a couple of tricks to make your own waterfalls anyway, so I will have tutorials for those coming up. I do have a tutorial series linked in the description of all my new videos uh, for beginners. It is a building tutorial series for beginners, and it goes over the very, very basics of how to use the interface, how to place items, what cheats I use, um, how to do a floor plan, how to do basic roofing, pools, fountains, all that. So I'm also going to be working now that that series is completed. I'm going to be working on some more advanced tutorials, and of course, one of them will be custom waterfalls. So definitely stick around for that. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do if you're into speed builds, tutorials, and house tours, because that's pretty much what I do on this channel. Uh, I have moved quite a bit of my series to Twitch, and I know that that's not... Uh, it's not super fair to some of the people that have been here on YouTube for a while, but um, my concentration has definitely moved to Twitch. So the whole month of March, I'm going to be doing... Um, some starter homes that I've already built and those are just going to have like music played over them mostly and then I'm also doing a series called build me which is an offshoot of furnish me so in furnish me you guys submit homes to the gallery with hashtag simmerkey and I furnish them and then build me I build a shell and you guys furnish it so I've collabed with I think 15 or 20 people to get that series going and it is going to be the entire month of March, I believe. So the whole month of March will be um, starter homes and, well, pr primarily base game starter homes and the Build Me series. So you'll see lots of shells of lots of houses. And of course, you guys could download them and furnish them yourselves. It's meant to be a collab with me and another simmer. Um, but, you know, you guys can download them too and send me screenshots. I'd love to see what you come up with or send me links to your videos so I could check them out. And 
that's pretty much going to be it for March, I think. There might be, like I said, one or two more jungle adventure videos. I'm not too sure. Um, other than that, starting in April, I think I am going to go back to the original schedule I spoke about, which is just going to be Tuesday speed builds. And then I might throw in a... Um, I'll probably throw in a second video as a tutorial so we can get into that more advanced stuff. I have a list of, I'm not kidding, like 50 tutorials I want to do. So that will probably be an ongoing series on the channel. When I did, did the build, um, beginners builders tutorials, I recorded them all in one day and had them set to come out over a course of two weeks, day, you know, day after day after day, just tutorial, tutorial, tutorial. Um, but I think for, for the more advanced stuff, it's going to be a weekly thing. So we'll probably have like Tuesday speed builds and maybe Thursday tutorials, something like that. And that should be the format of this channel going forward. I know I changed that quite a bit. Um, of course, I may change it again. I change my mind pretty often, but I think that's going to pretty much be it starting um, April, May, June maybe and then we'll figure things out again as we go on that's the great thing about this game uh, I'm always finding new things to do new stuff that interests me sometimes I do like to gameplay and I do a, a little let's play series and sometimes I'm into building 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 and sometimes I'm into furnishing 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 so that's how these series sort of come about but again I do want to mention that the series that you have been seeing on this channel are going to be moved over to twitch and I will have a formal schedule set up pretty soon um, just off the top of my head I think it's going to be Sundays on Twitch are going to be Simmerky Bay which is a town that we kind of started from scratch uh, we took Windenburg we gave it a backstory a haunted backstory if you want to check it out it's pretty fun and we're recreating each house each community lot and all of the villagers villagers counties <laughs> What am I, an Animal Crossing? Oh my god, another great game, by the way. Can't wait for that to come out on the Switch. Oh, I hope that comes out on the Switch, because then I'll have to buy it. I will have to. I will have no choice. Uh, I love Animal Crossing. It was my first love. <laughs> it was my first love before The Sims. But anyway, so... Tuesday, or what was that? Sunday. Sundays will be Simmerky Day. And then sometimes we mix a little bit of gameplay with that as well, so it's pretty fun. And then Monday's live streams on Twitch are going to be sort of a mishmash of things. I haven't really figured it out yet. I think it's probably going to be a combination of some house tours, some random build, or a challenge, or possibly... Um, dream room request from you guys and then thursdays is going to be my furnish me series and also on the first thursday of every month i'm going to introduce a new challenge for you guys i'm going to be building a shell of a house and i will upload it to the gallery for you guys to furnish and then i'll tour them on the last monday of the month um live on twitch so that will be a really fun series just to kind of bring uh, a few of my series together kind of mesh furnish me and house tours and get you guys more involved with that because i love i love like i said earlier i love getting involved with you guys the only reason i have a channel and the only reason i build or play the sims on a channel format instead of just for my own is to interact and hang out with you guys you guys are are my inspiration. You are the reason I play uh, pretty much every day. <laughs> You're the reason. You're the reason for all of this. So I really want to do some series that got, get you guys more involved. And then Fridays, we'll be doing house hunting. Now, I know house hunting was a really requested series on this channel. I had only done gosh, I don't know, maybe four or five episodes in The Sims 4. It wasn't, it wasn't very, um, it wasn't a long series, but I got really good feedback on that. But the problem with that series was I was building two houses and then having a Sim or Sim family that you guys submit tour the houses, pick their favorite, and then we would do some light renovation to tailor it towards the Sims family. Um, but again, the problem with that was I was building both houses. So that took a lot out of me. It was very hard. It was a lot of editing. It was a lot of work for one video. That's why I kind of took a step back from it. But now doing it in a live format on Twitch, it's going to be so much easier and more fun because I will be using a Sims family that you guys submit and two houses that you guys submit. So it will be sort of like a crazy fun collab that might involve one, two, or three of you. <laughs> and then we'll find the family, their dream home between the two that we download off the gallery that are submitted by you guys. And then I'll do some light renovation to customize it to the sim. So that's an exciting, exciting series. I really can't wait to get into. We've done it once live on Twitch. It went over very, very well. Uh, you guys seem to enjoy it. So I think that will be our Friday series. So that should cover it. Sunday, Monday, Thursday, Friday, all live on Twitch. Um, again, I know that's not a super 
Uh, I mean, for me, it's a super positive thing. I know for some of you, like I said, you're kind of, uh, you're maybe like, well, why are you moving those series to Twitch? I don't get it. But the interaction on Twitch is so different than the interactions on YouTube. Like, it's great making a video and then getting a comment from you guys, but it's usually like, oh, I like that house, and it's me saying, oh, thank you, and then that's it. Like, that's the end of the conversation. I want it to be more involved. So on Twitch, we can actually talk about other things. We can uh, get inspiration from each other. You guys could say, oh, I like that couch, but what if you moved it there? Or I like that plant, but what if you upsized it? And it's just such a different experience being live and being on the Twitch channel instead of doing it on YouTube. There's just so much more interactions we could do. We can host other simmers. So when I'm not live, I can host someone else's channel and you can watch them live. Um, there's also something called rating. So if I am doing a live stream and someone else wants to come share their viewers with me, they can bring all of their viewers to my live stream and then we make new friends. And it's just amazing. It's such an amazing experience. There's also really fun emotes that we can create. So my little seahorse acorn that you see under my face, he's a little emote on Twitch. So if you subscribe on Twitch, you actually have to pay. But if you follow, it's free. So if you follow, it's the same as subscribing on YouTube. I know that's super confusing. But if you subscribe on Twitch, you pay $5 a month and you get the little seahorse acorn uh, as an emote that you can use like a little emoji that you could paste into the chat and then there's different tiers with different emojis um, or emotes they call them there and it's just I don't know I don't know how to describe the experience if you've never experienced it you probably have no idea what I'm talking about but it is super super fun so yeah yeah it's a bit of a change it's a bit of the cha a change on the channel but I think it's a good change I know it's a good change I just hope that some of you guys get on board with it and if not you don't have to worry all you have to do is just hang out here on YouTube and watch my monthly or whatever daily <laughs> daily uploads for the month of March and then go back to twice a week uh, in in April yeah so there's still going to be plenty of content on here. I think we're going to hit 700 videos if we haven't already. Oh my gosh, so many videos on this channel. It is crazy. Never in a million years did I think I would have 700 videos in less than two years. I mean, in another year's time, we'll probably have, let's see, eight, oh God, I can't math, eight, 40, maybe, maybe we'll hit a thousand by next year. I have no idea. That's a lot of videos. Um, that's crazy to think, but that brings up another thing that I think I mentioned in a video recently, but we have our two year anniversary coming up. Actually, I don't know exactly what day it is. Let me find out. We have our two year YouTube anniversary. I can't remember if I go off of the date that the channel was created or the date of my first upload. Um, I think they were both in the same month, which is that this month or next month? Let me see. Sorry, this is totally rude to do it live live <laughs> while I'm recording. But I'm curious. I'm going to my YouTube. I'm sorting it by oldest video added, which if you want to go back and look at my very first video and make fun of me, you can. <laughs> And I better, I better have it on mute. Okay. So May 23rd is when I uploaded my first video that I didn't delete because I deleted some and rearranged them. Um, but I think the channel was actually started. Let me see. How do I find out? I think I have to go to my channel and about me. It should be there. May 27th, May 27th. Wow. That's just nuts. Okay. So I joined May, tw May 7th. And my first video was May 27th. So I think we'll just celebrate the two-year anniversary anytime in May. It doesn't matter. Middle of May, we'll see. So what do we have? March, April? Two months. In two months, it's our two-year anniversary here on YouTube. I want to do something special for that. So guys, let me know what you want. Do you want a special build? Um... If, if I'm not partnered on Twitch by then, maybe we could do a special YouTube live stream. Uh, maybe we could do some sort of build challenge. Maybe we could just do a big showcase of all of your guys' builds. I don't know. I have no idea. Let me know in the comments if you have a suggestion for what we could do because that's going to be so fun. Oh my God, two years. I can't believe it. And we're probably sometime today going to hit 4,500 subscribers on YouTube which is nuts. And that means that in the next two or three months, we should hit 5,000. <gasps> How great would it be if we hit 5,000 right before the two-year anniversary? Oh my God, that would be so cool. Oh my God, that would be a dream come true, guys. I just got super excited. <laughs> I just got super excited. Two-year anniversary coming up, 700 videos coming up. 
and hopefully, fingers crossed, 5,000 subscribers coming up. We'll do something special. We'll do something fun either way. Um, I'll think of something if you guys can't. Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll pick a winner and build their dream home, or maybe we'll take a collection of all of your guys' ideas for dream rooms. Well, not everyone, but maybe we'll pick like seven or eight people that have dream rooms. We could do a raffle, and then we can put those dream rooms together into one big dream house. I don't know. I don't know. Leave me suggestions. I'm getting carried away now. <laughs> um, but anyways, now we're more into a bit of the furnishing. Uh, on this build, or I guess we have been for a while. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the screen. I'm just talking about all, all sorts of other stuff. Um, I wanted each of these to be furnished, but it took a while. Like, honestly, building the structure wasn't so hard. It was going through and furnishing each one. It's like doing a million builds and <laughs> a million tiny houses in one. So the entire top row of homes I did leave unfurnished. They are a bit bigger as well. So if you want to download this, um, of course, it'll be on the gallery under Blah Stephanie. That is my ID. It's in the description as well, so you don't forget. Uh, you can download this, and you could use any of the pre-furnished homes, or you can pick one of the ones on the top row and furnish it yourself. Or, of course, you could just remodel any of these. It doesn't really matter. You could do whatever you want with my builds if you download them, uh, as long as you don't re-upload them and claim them as your own. That's the only thing I ask. Please don't do that. Um, but, yeah, it was it, it was fun to try to make them all unique, in their own way, but also very similar. I figure um, maybe they had access to a lot of the same building materials and the same fabrics and stuff. So it sort of made sense that a lot of the carpets and tapestries sort of crossed over between the different little housing units. Um, but yeah, gosh, this was so fun. This was so different than anything I've ever done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yay, we're into the screenshot. So here's a nice big view of everything from the front uh up top we have that statue i forgot the backstory but it's some sort of um sim founder sim or something of el no Salvadorava. there she is with the basket i can't remember her story but anyways her big statue is up there and then we have some screenshots of the inside of these beautiful little homes i had so much fun with this seriously i oh my gosh this was so exciting it felt like doing something completely new and fresh on the channel um I, oh no, was that one missing a corner unit? Oopsie. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. It was just fun. It was, it was different and it was sort of a challenge, but I can't believe I built this in two hours. I literally can't believe that. I was just super focused. I just sat there and just built, furnished, furnished, built, furnished, furnished. <laughs> uh, yeah. So thank you again, whoever suggested this. I totally forgot. I'm a horrible human being. It's probably too late to go back and look it up now. Uh, if she comments or he comments, I'll make sure to pin it. So thank you for ever giving me the idea for the Pueblos. And again, don't forget to comment below to let me know if there's some other types of builds you'd like to see on this channel. And please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Uh, there is tons of Sims content on here. I'm obsessed with The Sims, and it would mean the world to me if you subscribed. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a wonderful day, and yeah, was there a few seconds here? Oh my god, there's a whole minute left. Wow, there's a whole minute left. Don't don't, don't mind me. I'm not going anywhere yet. <laughs> I was looking at the clock, like the little countdown timer on the video, and I'm like, oh, I have a second left. I have a second left. And then, no, I have a whole minute left. I can't math. I, I look at numbers, and my brain gets all, like, wobbly and crazy and uh, distorted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this green color. I talked about this in another video. This green color they introduced into the pack, that seafoam green. Green is to die for. I love it. And all the carpets make me so happy. And those little shelves that made look like ladders. I don't know. I don't know. This was just so cool. Ah, oh. do you guys find this as exciting as I do? Or are you like, wow, Steph, just calm down. It's just another build. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's because of all the new stuff, but I love it. <laughs> and then we have our little donkey statue. Is that a donkey? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but it was fun. I love the colors. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm definitely going to go. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye! Wait, guys, before you go anywhere, don't forget to click over here to watch new videos and click on my face when I disappear to subscribe.